Hello, welcome back to Marco's Reviews. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, remember you can subscribe, it's completely free and you'll never miss an episode, so just click the little button below. So last week I reviewed the Sony XM3s. They've got a longer name than that, but I won't go into it. Spoiler, I love them, but you can check out the video here. Now, literally the day before I published that video, I found out that the XM4s had been released. Now the XM3s are brilliant headphones, they're superb. And that got me thinking, are the XM4s really worth upgrading to? So if you're an XM3, owner, should you buy the XM4s? And if you haven't entered the Sony headphone game yet, should you go for the XM3s or the XM4s? Well, I now have both. Let's go to the unboxing. So here they are, the Sony WH-1000XM4s. So some pretty simple instructions. One, download the app to power on your headphones and then connect to the app. Now, interestingly enough, I didn't actually ever set up the, the um, XM3s on my phone, so I never used the app. Now, is there anything else in the box? Of course there is. Why they still offer all this documentation, I'll never know. Um, there's uh, 360 reality audio free trial for their music service. I've not tried this, I've heard about it. Um, it's basically a some kind of clever um, audio experience for for something, I don't know, we probably won't ever use that. Shed loads of manuals from the looks of it, which again, I'll never use. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual headphones themselves. So before we get the headphones out, few little things you get. They still give you one of these for airplanes, which, does anyone still use these now? Um, now, I really hoped they would have improved this. Now this is the USB-C charging cable that you get. Um, now just to put this into context, this, let's move that out of the way. This is a key for my window in the studio. This is the USB lead that you get from Sony for these headphones. Okay, they're not the same size, but this is a tiny key. And why is it so small, Sony? What is going on? What are you doing? I just don't understand the benefit of that. I suppose what they might be thinking with this, because I've seen some other reviewers get a bit cheesed off with it. Um, the only thing I can think is that they, they assume that you'll plug this into your laptop or something uh, nearby and just plug it straight in and it's less cabling to worry about. But it's just no use to anyone really that. Um, I personally just use my MacBook charger because it's USB-C, it's always with me and this is just a waste of time. But there you go. We also have obviously the cable, the headphones, if you choose to go down the wide route. Now I've never have done, I don't think with the XM3s, I've never plugged them in. I've always used Bluetooth, um, so there you go. But again, at least it's a bit of a longer cable this time, that's nice. On to the headphones themselves. The actual material feels a little bit softer, a little bit more matte than the XM3s. You would be hard pressed, really hard pressed, to tell these apart. So there you go, that was a very quick unboxing of the Sony XM4s. Um, first impressions, they're just like the old headphones, I'll be totally honest, they look identical. Um, however, I've literally just got them out of the box, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna spend a day with them. Uh, I'm gonna get them charged up, just to see if they've got any charge in them, and I'm gonna go off, do my normal day's work, which today involves quite a bit of writing, which is quite useful, um, and I'm just gonna see what they sound like. If you're in the camp where you've got the XM3s and you're thinking about upgrading, um, but a bit like me, you're a little bit apprehensive about the difference really, and you know, spending another $350, $350, pounds, it's a lot of money. I've done it for you. <laughs> um, I'm not sponsored by Sony, these are mine, I bought these. Um, I'm gonna, for you, I'm gonna go and put these on today, listen to them and try and work out if I've either wasted money or made a decent investment. Um, I know how good the XM3s are, uh, these will have to do something pretty serious to better them, really, and to make the purchase above the old version worth it. So give me eight hours-ish and I will be right back. So I spent about a day 
with these, with the XM4s. Um, I appreciate that's not a long-term review, uh, but I have had the XM3s for over a year, so I know what I'm comparing against. And I thought I'd break up this comparison video into a few categories. We'll start with the price. Now, I bought these for 350 British pounds, and I think they're about $350, depending on where you look. That isn't cheap for a pair of headphones if you're not really into this sort of stuff. I appreciate that. I appreciate the majority of my audience are productive freelancers and people who um, probably love their music and what have you, but probably aren't headphone aficionados. That said, £350 for a, a good sounding pair of headphones is actually a pretty good price, in my opinion. It does make the XM4s a little bit more expensive than the XM3s were at launch, um, but only sort of £20, £30, £20, $30. It's not a huge amount. And I think, like I said in my review for the XM3s, I think spending £350 on a pair of headphones, providing you're going to wear them regularly and they help you get more work done, is... I'll be honest, it's a bargain. I'm not bothered about the price of the XM4s. I think, given what I'm about to say about them in terms of their performance, and certainly the durability of the XM3s, I know these are untested, but they're largely the same design. You're getting a lot for your money there, trust me. So the price, I haven't got a problem with that at all. Uh, the other thing with that is that it brings down the price of the XM3s quite considerably. I think you can pick them up for about £230 now on Amazon, I think, in the UK. Uh, again, US, it might be slightly different, but it's around about the same sort of price. And trust me, for what you're getting with the XM3s, that's a bargain. It's an absolute bargain. You can spend an awful lot more than that on Beats and some other headphones. And just given the performance and, like I say, the durability, these I've had these for over a year now. There aren't any noticeable scratches on them. They still feel very rugged. Um, they still perform perfectly. There's no distortion or anything. The, um, the only way you can potentially see is just a little bit of um, shininess on the, on the top whatever you call that, top foam part. Uh, but that's gonna happen, because it's on your head, and I have no hair, so that probably makes it the same. But but the, the ear pads <coughs> are not worn at all. Um, comparing them to Beats that I've had in the past, they just fall apart after about a year. They're so good, they're so good, honestly. That Get them if you, if you wanna get a, a cheaper pair of Sonys. So the price, going back to the XM4s, 350 pounds, 350 dollars. No problem with that at all, I think it's good value. So the design, trust me, you would be hard pressed to notice the difference between these two headphones. Now I appreciate I've got different colors here, but um, if these were both black or both silver, they look identical. The only differences that you can see are that embossed little uh, icon, uh, sorry, little logo for the connection thing that you use for Android phones, which on the old one was just like a, it wasn't embossed basically. Um, aside from that, there's just nothing. That the, the ambient button that was on the XM3s is now called a custom button. I haven't delved into that yet, so I can't really talk about that. Um, and if you look in the ear cups on the XM4s, there is this little sensor thing which works for a starting and stopping play whenever you take them off your head. So, But trust me, they just look identical. Sony. I think are pretty well known for not going particularly overboard with their design. And like I said in my XM3 review, if you're into your flashy headphones, these probably aren't gonna be for you. These are the only two colors you can get. They've retained the black and the, the silver. Um, it's not really silver, actually. It's more of a kind of bone gray type thing. Um, I, I really like it, actually. I'm quite... I went with this color just to differentiate the two, if I'm totally honest. That's how similar they look. The plastics on the XM4 do feel different. It feels a little bit more matte, if that makes sense. It's a bit more, that feels feels shinier, whereas this feels just a bit more um, a bit more matte, like I say, like matte paint. Uh, now, whether or not that will change over time as, a, as they wear, I don't know. The head cushions are slightly slimmer, apparently, but again, you really can't tell much of a difference. It's, yeah. It's just very difficult to tell. Um, and apparently the top cushion is a bit different as well. There's still no IP rating, so technically they're not officially waterproof um, or dustproof or resistant. For me, that's not an issue. I don't wear these anywhere apart from indoors, so uh, I, w and I wouldn't work out with them personally. Bear that in mind, the new XM4s aren't water or dust resistant, if that is a, an important consideration for you. Now the sound. Now I'm just going to run through a couple of things that they've done with the XM4s. So what they've done, they have um, basically built a new sound processor. So the sound it generates over the XM3s comes from a completely different chip. That's quite exciting because the XM3s sound fantastic. They're a really, really good quality, solid pair of headphones when it comes to sound. 
so hearing that these have got a new sound processor is quite exciting because you think, well, what have they done with it? How have they made it better? So the XM3s, brilliant, sound great. Watch my review again to, to find out more about that, but they're, they're brilliant. When I used these yesterday, I didn't listen to the XM3s first. I just went out, took these with me and started listening and just immediately thought, yeah, they sound fantastic. But what I didn't think was, wow, these sound different. So a bit later yesterday, I came home, I had them both side by side and listened to the exact same track from the same device. So the all same listening condition, same volume, everything, and did a bit of an A-B test. And actually these do sound better. They are brighter. The bottom end, which is fantastic, you know, that the base on these isn't overbearing. It's, um, it's lovely and creamy and rich and deep. That exists still with these. They haven't really changed that, I don't think. If anything, it might be a little bit less, um, they might have reduced the bottom end a little bit, but not, not to a point where it becomes tinny. Um, it's just a little bit more controlled, which is quite difficult with, with low frequencies, so that's impressive. The high frequencies are crisper. The mids, uh, the mid-range is definitely more defined. It's not quite as, um, li listening back to back between the two headphones, the XM3s by comparison sound a little bit muddier. And you can hear a bit more as well. So that, again, on the same track, I heard certain tiny little things going on um, in the left to right channels, which if I switched back to the XM3s, I couldn't hear quite as well. They were there, but not quite as well. Which begs the question, should you pick the XM4s over the XM3s based on sound? That's a very difficult one to answer, uh, to answer really, because everything I've just described is basically an, a, an EQ tweak. You know, they've, they've made it sound better EQ-wise. I appreciate there's a new sound processor in here, but the real world effects of that is it just sounds better, like a better EQ. Now, I only noticed that, it's really important to re reiterate this, I only noticed that when I had both pairs of headphones available to me. Now, no one is going to have both of these. You know, why would you buy these and these at the same time? You wouldn't do it. Um, and I'll be honest, if I listened to that track now with these, then took them off my head, went and made a cup of tea, came back, put these on, listened to the same track, I probably wouldn't notice the difference. That A-B test, which is completely unrealistic in real life, you never do that with headphones, you just put the headphones you've got on and listen to it. You just, you'd never do that. So when it comes to the question of picking either of these based on their sound quality, they will both do the job brilliantly. If you buy a pair of XM3s and save yourself £100, $100, um, you will not be disappointed with the sound because you'll never have heard these. Bear that in mind. Um, and you'll never be in a position, I doubt anyway, where you'll have both pairs and you'll be switching between the two every 10 minutes. Sound-wise, they're better. The XM4s are better. They sound better. It's a more pleasurable experience, but I've only realised they sound better because I've done that A-B test. And I think that says a lot in terms of the upgrade with this one. So, yeah, that's the sound. Now, new features. There are some really interesting things that Sony have put into these headphones. The first one, which I've immediately benefited from, is the auto on off thing. I mentioned this earlier, there is a little sensor in the ear cup so that when you take off your headphones, music stops. Now, I'm used to this with the AirPods. Um, obviously, when you put them back on, the music starts again. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm used to that with the AirPods uh, and it's just so useful. It's just, it's just a, a convenience thing where, in the past with the XM3s, I've, I've taken the headphones off and forgotten to stop playing and it just carries on playing in the background and runs out of the battery or whatever, it's just annoying. Just very convenient, so thanks Sony, that, that genuinely helps, that's a nice upgrade from the, from the previous model. They've also added something called Speak to Chat, I don't know if that's the official name for it, but basically with the old pair, um, when you were listening to music and someone came over to talk to you, you'd have to place your hand, I think over the right hand, um, ear cup and it would then I think stop playback and filter in them talking. Now the reason why I'm saying I'm so vague about that is because I've never used it. Mainly because I think keeping your headphones on while someone's talking to you and putting your hand to one of the ear cups is just weird and a little bit rude. What Sony have done to kind of combat that is introduce a thing where they recognize that you're talking to someone and they automatically turn on the ambient sound mode so people can start talking to you can hear them. But I'll never use that, I know that. But if that is something that you do, I won't judge you for it, um, it might make your life easier. That's one thing to bear in mind. Something else which these do over the XM3s, or well, they don't do yet, it's apparently coming in a firmware update, is seamless switching between Bluetooth devices. Now, again, I mentioned in my review of the XM3s that I've never had an issue with that anyway. I know it's a manual process, you have to manually pair them each time, but it's quite straightforward and it never failed. Apparently with these, with a the future firmware update, you will be able to seamlessly switch from your phone 
to your laptop or your tablet or whatever. That sounds great because I do occasionally go from my laptop to my phone with these and it would be nice just to cut out a few seconds of having to pair my Bluetooth device. So we'll see how that works when it comes. They've apparently also made big strides in voice calls with these headphones. Again, I have never used these for voice calls, so I'm definitely not the best person to talk to about that, but that might be nice for you to know if you are a regular headphone telephone calling person. Now, probably the biggest thing about these headphones and the thing on the box which it shouts about is the fact they, that they have industry-leading noise cancellation. And again, the XM3s are brilliant. They're just superb. They, cut, they put you in this little world of your own, which for me helps me get more stuff done and just makes the listening experience far more pleasurable. I'm gonna to be totally honest now, after a day of using them, I can't notice the difference. It's still just very good noise cancelling. I'm sure it's better, I'm sure it is, and you can watch the reviews where they kind of go into detail of why it's better, and they're much cleverer than me on that. Um, but again, a bit like the sound, if I probably, if I A-B tested the noise cancellation, I'm sure I'd notice a difference with these, but it would be so negligible. So it's a difficult thing to recommend the XM4s over the XM3s based on the former's noise cancelling capabilities because they're both very, very capable in that respect. So noise cancelling, top, top marks, just brilliant. Battery life um, on the XM3s, 30 hours. Battery life on the XM4s, 30 hours. That's brilliant. They didn't need to, I mean, if they could squeeze any more out of it, fantastic, but 30 hours, trust me, is enough. Go on forever, I'll be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if they beat that that time. I've never done any tests, obviously, but um, yeah, they haven't fiddled with the battery life at all either to make it worse or better, but that's not a bad thing because 30 hours and a very quick charging time. I think if you do a 10 minute charge, you get about half an hour battery life or something like that. It's, it's basically, charging is not an issue with these, these headphones. They're, they're very, very easy to live with when it comes to um, charging and keeping a, a pair of wireless headphones working as much as you need them to. The big question, you haven't got a pair of Sony over the ear noise cancelling headphones, should you buy the XM3s or the XM4s? I would buy the XM3s. Now the reason for that is because they're cheaper. <laughs> it's, it's as simple as that. I think unless you do, I've, I've said it several times in this review, unless you, you're the sort of person, I don't know if this person exists, who sits there and switches between both sets of headphones every 10 minutes, Unless you do that, it just doesn't make sense, I personally think, to buy the new version at the moment. So until these go totally out of stock and uh, uh, kind of kicked to the curb by Sony, which I guess will be fairly soon, I mean, they're not gonna keep making these. So if there's stock of these on Amazon at the moment, I'd grab a pair, because you're saving yourself 100 quid. And, and the, the, chain, the differences between these two headphones are negligible in that respect, unless you're really finicky about things. And unless, a bit like I am, you like having the new stuff. You know, I like knowing that these sound better than these, but it doesn't make any difference to my life. If you are obviously watching this because you want to be get, get more productive and use sound and music to help you be more productive, these will work just as well as these. You won't get more productivity done with these, so bear that in mind. I personally would save £100, $100, however much it is by the time you watch this video, providing they're still in stock at that stage. The XM3s are such a good buy because of the XM4s. Um, the XM4s are, are superb, are absolutely fantastic. And if you want to spend an extra £100, $100 on them, go for it, you will not be disappointed. However, if you're umming and in between the two and you're watching this video and you're watching hundreds of other videos on this topic, just get yourself a pair of XM3s. They're great. There's nothing wrong with these headphones. Uh, they sound great. The noise cancellation is brilliant. Go for it. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. And on that note, keep watching for a link to my long-term review of the XM3s to find out more about why they're so good and why I think they'll be worth your money. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Cheers.